how to intelligently come off of an extreme ketogenic diet. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And I know what you guys are saying. You'll watch different channels, you'll hear people talking about their diets, and they get very dogmatic about it, right? Like it's the holy grail, it's the only way to go, and if you don't do it, you're gonna burn in hell, right? I'm only slightly exaggerating. Now, uh, I, I've shared it before, but to catch you guys up if you're a new watcher, and if you are a new watcher or sub, thank you, it's appreciated, and the check's in the mail. All right, here's what we got, guys. I just came off of an uh, aggressive, very aggressive 13-day ketogenic diet that's kind of meant to be a rapid weight loss uh, slash keto extreme diet, uh, you could say, all right? Now, my results were I lost 13 pounds in 13 days, and it was I was visibly uh, and noticeably very different. I was shrinking away, right? I was like that old movie Thinner, but I felt really good on it. I was probably somewhere around a thousand calories a day, keeping my uh, grams of fat, total grams of fat under 75, etc. right? Now, I won't give away all my secrets, but it worked very well. If you guys want to see pictures, comment uh, on the video, and uh, I'll post some up, okay? Maybe I'll put them... In a, a video and talk about it as well but once you're done with something like that because the thing is it's this diet was not meant to be something that I live on it was meant to be something that strips off the last little bit of fat in a relatively short amount of time and it worked like magic so if you've been on an Atkins diet a keto or something and it, what does everybody say about diets? Oh, as soon as you go off of it, you're going to gain it all back. Ah. Oh, you know what? Whatever, Debbie and Dan Downer. You know, you're idiots. Because that's where, you know, they have built up their excuses not to ever better themselves. So, they're the ones that, you know, you want to go have a nice, uh, lean, healthy meal. And they're going, oh no, let's go to Coney's. Let's go get the awesome blossom let's get the endless basket of fries right now there's nothing wrong with all of that but when you start like trying to build a philosophy around why you never take care of yourself like oh you know you only live once or yeah you know I don't know why you're doing all this I mean you got to live a little you know all this stuff and it's um it can get annoying after a while Oh, you know, you shouldn't be so vain. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself, living a little, enjoying uh, some of the finer things in life, right? Some of the indulgences, guilty indulgences. I mean, my birthday's Tuesday, and I plan on, uh, you know, having a meal or two here or there, and uh, some of the nourishing... Uh, and by nourishing, I mean foods that are basically uh, going to replenish me a little bit after I depleted myself pretty heavily. So, what do you do? Right, you're going to try to come off this diet, and it'd be very easy to just go ham, right? Go crazy and eat everything in sight because it's like through all the forbidden. Now, everything tastes amazing. But, you want to do it responsibly, okay? So, your body is now in a depleted mode your muscle glycogen stores are depleted and your um, insulin levels have been altered and now you're coming off of a ketogenic state you want to go back in gradually okay you want to slowly add some things back in don't completely uh, go to just simple processed foods and ignore good, you know, lean proteins, vegetables, what have you. So, the thing is, I don't think you necessarily have to count the carbs. 
like you would on a, an extreme diet or something that's very regimented or watch your macros too close but just stay with something that's like portion control right the size of a clenched fist um, or the palm of your hand for a portion size still listen to your body try not to get back into if you've had uh, uh, struggles with um, like borderline eating disorder where as soon as you get a food you just eat it all right and your logic is well if I just eat it all then it's gone and then I won't go replace it or maybe if like when I was younger what I would do is if I was trying to diet and I kept failing is I would simply buy a dozen donuts eat half of them then I'd feel guilty about it throw them away in the garbage but what I did was I wrapped them nice and tight that way if I went back to the garbage later once the guilt and shame wore off then I could eat them because I knew they'd still be clean so all kinds of food games if it's not you it's someone in your family or maybe a loved one so if you're a trainer or somebody who's really good about eating and somebody else has a struggle with it you know think of it as something like somebody who's an alcoholic or somebody who uses drugs you know there's all kinds of things that give you that dopamine hit that you know give you that sense of love of fullness of wholeness uh, you know fills that hole somewhere inside so I don't want to go into the deep psychological stuff here but the thing is is that you need to ease back into this because your body is gonna suck up those carbs right you're gonna retain some water you've got to not worry about what the scale says you know recognize that you are gonna gain some of the weight back and yeah it's gonna be water weight but if you continue to overeat and you have a calorie surplus every day of course some of it's gonna to turn to fat okay that's just how it goes so the thing is when you ease back in you can still have a lot of the things that you miss like bread and you know any type of sugary stuff or anything that wasn't on the diet you can have those things again but just ease back in because you don't want to feel bloated you don't want to feel uh, discomfort and sick again all of those things where you know it's like the day of Thanksgiving when you overdo it and you just feel like absolute hell the rest of the day you can avoid that by easing back in and then you don't necessarily have to go completely off of whatever diet plan you were on especially if it worked very well for you you know you can incorporate some of those principles like for instance with this one seven servings of, of green vegetables a day you know I cut back to maybe four or five for you know a few days I've added more carbohydrates you know in the form of like some pasta a little bit of oatmeal a little bit of fruit I really miss those things and I feel really good you know I've got good energy I haven't really had a lot of sugar yet I did have a little bit of um, keto uh, friendly ice cream that was fantastic but it's still very low sugar but it is still a little sugary and not quite on an extreme keto diet so you know there's all kinds of ways to approach it guys but if there's a takeaway in this video it's to approach it gradually so you know here we are fall has begun it's definitely cooled off outside um, I could tell from the photos I took that with the keto diet and not really being able to lift plus the gyms being closed it was really hard to put on any more muscle mass or build strength so from here going forward to the end of the year I may go back to a modified ketogenic diet but I'm thinking something along the lines of healthy eating with a slight calorie surplus as long as I'm training heavy enough that I'm building some appreciable muscle and not putting on any additional body fat so you know diets can have a beginning and end point you don't have to do something forever life short play with stuff experiment get outside the box have some fun with it test your ability like for those 13 days I did that extreme diet I didn't know if I had it in me but I knew that there was no way I was going to uh, psychologically fail or give up if I was gonna fail it was gonna be my body giving up on me and cramping up or something right my immune system maybe getting compromised none of that happened um, I just felt a dip in energy that was about it most of the day I was good there was something really interesting about fasting as well and I can get into that in another video because intermittent fasting where you go uh, two-thirds of the day 
you don't eat anything and then you eat within an eight hour window. I was getting this one down. This was very extreme where you'd have one meal a day and maybe eating instead of um, a second meal or if I was going to eat a second meal, I was trying to get all the food I was going to eat in like a four hour window instead. So my fast was a little longer. Uh, it was interesting getting up in the morning and not having to think about eating food, just getting up and going, maybe having a cup of coffee, drinking water, some electrolytes, things like that. So uh, I kind of like the idea of fasting and that might be incorporated as well. But uh, if you guys want to know about that extreme diet, losing 13 pounds in 13 days, I can do a video where I just detail everything. And uh, if you decide to try it, you know what you're getting into. So guys, hope you're well. We're still in no simp September. So just thought I'd throw a little diet video at you. Hope you guys are well. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll talk to you again soon.